my brother and I, when we were young, our friend was the willow tree. My brother and I are strangers now. I stand beside the tree that weeps for me. looking for an escaped prisoner. These tracks lead right up to your barn. He could have been the man who killed my brother, Matt. I'm sorry. It's one of the Checker gang. Checker, huh? I'll find you. You got the twin to this gun. I'd be careful if I were you. He's fast on the trigger. For a gun? Particular one. Made to this one. 48. Pretty unusual weapon. If you'd seen one like it, you wouldn't forget it. I got an eye for guns, like most men have for women. Seen anybody carrying one like this? No. You could be lying. You could be crazy looking for the twin to that gun. What do you mean? Nothing. Sorry I couldn't do you any good. Now, if you'd like to sell that one. I'm looking to buy, not sell.
Good shot. Thanks. Where's that pretty little gal? I guess she took off. Well, she'll be back. No place for a stranded female. Say, hey, that's a good looking gun. Mind if I see it? Ah, now that's real, real fancy. Paper cartridges, huh? Now hold tight, Gaucho. They told me it was bad manners to point a gun at anyone, and even worse, to pull the trigger. I finally got somebody to teach me manners. And I was trying to teach you good sense. You can't fire a paper cartridge when it's wet. I was gambling on the chance that it wasn't. <laughs> well, you may not know much about guns, but you do throw a good left. <laughs> I sure was lucky you showed up when you did. Oh, that wasn't luck. I was trailing him. I was going to kill him. Well, what for? Well, it was one of the Checkers gang. I got me a private war with him. Well, that makes two of us. Come on, let's build a fire and get dry. You figure to stand up to the Checkers gang with that plowshare? I'm only looking for one of them. I'll take my chances with him when I find him. Yeah, you got it easier than me. I'm gonna kill them all. Every last blessed one of them. They're scattered all over the country. That should take some time. That's something I've got plenty of. You better get yourself a fast action colt. Even so, I don't think you got much of a chance. You're a farmer, Luke, not a gun handler. Much as I can get used to any gun, I'm used to this one. Got quite an attachment to it. My father gave it to me. One to me, one to my brother. And you're going looking for the other one, even though you know the odds are against you? It was my brother's taste. Must have had a pretty good life to feel the way you do about him. Yeah, I had quite a family life myself. My mother ran off with a faro dealer from St. Joe when I was four months old. My pappy didn't even know about it for five months. He was busy touring the country with a breed woman. I told you what I want with the Checkers gang. Now, what about you? You spilled your guts out because you wanted to. I don't. I just thought we could ride along together. I guess we could at that. I might even help you find your brother's killer. <laughs> What's so comical about it? Stacy Dark performing a good deed for his fellow man. You'll live longer if I'm with you, Luke. We'll ride together. I teach you to shoot. You're quiet down. He just locked this when the moon's full. What's your name? Willow. Willow what? Just Willow. You a breed? Have a soup eye, full blood. They breed my favorite horses. And women. Their horses are easier to handle. Anybody interested in food besides me? 
We got a rabbit cooking on the fire. You must be hungry. Sit down. Thank you for this afternoon. Luke, I'm Lou Brandon. Stacy Dark. What are you staring at me for? I look better to you now? Huh? I think she's just decided I'm more her type, Luke. What was the name of that checker I killed? Pete Longo. I was running away from him. He was gonna kill me for it. You just saved yourself a lot of trouble telling me his name. I knew it was Longo. You know the rest of the checkers gang? Some of them. One of them has a gun, like this. Have you seen it? No. What are you gonna do now? Go back to your people? She's got no people. Once they take off with a white man, they go through a burial service and forget about them. He was going to teach me all that was good of the white man's ways. He taught me only shame and ugliness. Where were you and Longo heading? Redbud, Oklahoma Territory. Redbud. We got some place to aim for. Take a lot of the guesswork out of it if... If I went with you and pointed out Longo's friends. Uh-huh. Are Longo's friends your friends? His? Whatever I may have done, I am not a, a saloon girl. I like him with some resistance. Not much, but some. Cut it, Stace. Don't worry about it, Swillow. You're gonna help us do something mighty important for all of us. We won't lay a finger on you. You speaking for me, Parson? Looks like I got me a big brother all of a sudden. There is truth in your eyes, Luke. It is the promise of your friend that I want. Come on, Stace. Well, it could be a shortcut for us. This is like going to Sunday school. All right. Cross my heart and hope to die I won't look at her, touch her. I won't even sniff at her. I'll see that you keep your promise. Oh, my intentions are honorable at this point. Brother Luke here will dip me in a mountain brook if I ever forget myself. And the next thing you know, I'll be reading the Bible. I think I'll turn in. I will go with you. Why did you take it? I wanted to look at it. Why? Because I thought maybe I could remember where I'd seen one just like it. You have? Yes. But I didn't want Stace to know. Why didn't you want Stace to know? Because Stace is not your friend. He reminds me of Longo and his friends. About the twin. Where did you see it? I cannot remember. I was hoping that if I would sit here, that maybe I could remember where I saw it. But now you are here, 
and my mind is empty. You're beautiful, Will. I am not trained in the ways of your white sisters. But I have wanted to hear you say that. We made a contract, the three of us. I set the rules. I can break them. We better leave it the way it is for a while. State has filled you with doubts about me, hasn't he? Maybe. Maybe not. State is the one to fear. Luke. Watch out for him. I've been thinking, Luke. A woman's bad luck on this kind of a hunting trip. Especially that one. You know, you can't trust any woman, leave alone a breed woman. You lead us to the checkers, all right. Don't you set us up for them like clay pigeons? She was running away from <laughs> That's her story. I think she was telling the truth. We'll go along with it. How come I'm letting you do my thinking, Luke? You know, this could get to be mighty serious. Just the same, I'm watching her for a double cross. And when it comes, I'll kill her. So get used to the idea. Come to think of it, I don't know much about you either. And I know even less about you. <laughs> oh, I like you, Luke. Make no mistake about that. But that don't mean I won't kill you if something like that's called for. I come to that conclusion a long time ago, Sting. Come on, Blue Eyes. Have a soup pie. Women make good cooks and things. And they mine real good. You gotta know how to treat these squaws. Watch this. That's a pretty silly thing to do, Stace. Oh, just shut up, will you? Just shut up. I've seen any of the Checkers gang along the way. I've seen that girl in the wagon before with Longo's friends. And what would a Checkers man be doing with an outfit like that? Let's go up and find out. You better put your gun away. All right, don't come any closer, because I'll shoot a hole through your head big enough to plant onions in. Now, that ain't no way for a doctor to talk to a patient, is it? The wagon says you're a doctor, and I got a parched throat. Yeah? <laughs> well, I'm warning you. I can shoot the fires off a cockroach at two miles. Three, if I happen to be sober. I believe it, Pappy. All right. Get aboard. Hello, handsome. I was just dying for company. These horses, I sick of looking at their... Oh, you've got a friend. I am his guardian. I have an idea he will need one. Well, I'll either cure you or kill you. I can promise you that. What are the odds? Oh, about 50-50. On to my good days. <laughs> now open that trap of yours. Oh, it looks a little ugly down there. But don't look too bad at that. Yeah, it feels better already. <laughs> you know what? That's the real stuff, son. Oh, I designed it myself, I tell you that. It's 20% snake venom, 10% Chinese herbs that I brought over from the Orient myself. And you know what? That's my own secret 
formula. I got it from my daddy when he was dying from alcoholic poison. <laughs> and that's yours for one dollar. One dollar of the realm. There you are, Pappy. Uh, a little uh, snort, baby gal? Just a moment, stranger. My daughter don't drink medicine. She's pure and uh, an innocent girl. You made your point, Pappy. Maybe you better give me another bottle of this medicine, just in case I feel it coming on again. Well, I'll let me see. Maybe I've got some. Oh, yeah. It just so happens that I have another one right here. There you are. The boon to mankind. The elixir of life. And the renovator of youth. And all yours for one dollar. <laughs> one dollar. Uh, you sure ain't long for trusting your fellow man, are you, Pappy? It don't pay, son. My mother trusted my father. And look what happened. Me. <laughs> Putting on your show in Red Bud, huh? Yeah, at the Chisholm Saloon. We're going to relieve all the folks in the community of their aches and pains, and relieve them of all their loose dollars, too. It's a pretty rough country between here and there. Yeah? Maybe we ought to ride with you. Make three guns instead of one. That's not a bad idea. I'll tell you, uh, let's make camp here for the night, huh? Right. <laughs> you like guns? I can't say that I do, Wendy. One of them killed my brother. Sorry. Some of them killed and some of them saved from being killed. Now you take this one. This shot me and my wife and Rena out of an Indian ambush. I guess I've thanked it a hundred times. They've been good to me and I've been good to them. And they're good for a man that respects them. You know, a gun is a work of art, and it fits into a man's hand. Now watch this. Now that's just a warm-up. Did you ever see the border roll? Now that's like this one. Now watch. <laughs> Why, it's a living thing in your hand. <laughs> Here, take it. You better not reach for rattlesnakes, either. Who are you gunning for? Well, what makes you think I'm gunning for anybody? Why, well, it's in your eyes, in your hands. He's too good for you, boy. Stace? What makes you think I'm gunning for him? Well, then he's gunning for you. He never takes his eyes off of us. <laughs> You've been drinking too much of that medicine of yours, Wendy. Stace and I get along just fine. Is that so, boy? And then you better practice some of the things I've been showing you. You never know when you'll need them. <laughs> so, this pretty little gal, see, she, she always liked to play draw poker. Trouble is, she was always broke. So one night she says to me, she says, Stace? <laughs> Stace, she says, how about a little game? <laughs> <laughs> so I says, sure, baby gal. Old Stace will play with you. <laughs> Come. They're both of them. That's what comes from traveling around the country and playing saloons. Mixing up with that riffraff until you become almost like one of them. But I'll tell you this, Luke. I'll never let her become like that. I don't think you need to worry about that, Wendy. One thing I promised my wife, that I'd bring Rena up as a respectable, God-fearing woman. And I'll see her dead before I let her be anything else. So, as I was saying, she was always broke, see, and, and, and the stakes started to be my shirt and her garter. She had them high stockings that always keep falling down, you know? <laughs> and now, now, now relax, baby, till I finish the story. Like I was saying, she was always broken, and the stakes was my shirt and her garters. <laughs> you should have seen us both trying to lose, huh? <laughs> now, who lost? Uh, uh, Nobody. Story finished? Oh, finished. <laughs> I used it in the act. But I guess I won't be using it anymore. You take it, Willow. Then you won't be doing the show in Redbud tomorrow? Nope.
Don't tell my father. He'd kill me if he found out. Why does he always come to you in the darkness? Why does he not talk to your father and perhaps... He'd gun him down if he saw him. Or turn him over to the sheriff. Is he an outlaw? Perhaps one of the checkers gang? Mind your own business. You ask too many questions. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow, honey. You better go and get some sleep. Good night, Pa. See you in the morning. Good night, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to bed, Lola. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sleep tight, baby gal. That's the only way, lover boy. <laughs> Heard old Wendy uh, putting on a show for you. He's just showing me a few things. See you flip your gun, Lou. Now you can go to bed. Better all the time. Not good. Better. Let's see you draw. Bat. Not bad at all. You and me for a dollar, huh? Come on and go to bed, Stace. You're drunk. Oh, you might win. For a dollar. Yeah. You know, it's getting better all the time. You just might get that check that you're after at that. Why don't he show his face? Has he got a wife and kids? Is that it? I don't know. I never asked him. And I don't care. What's his name? I forgot to ask him. I'll catch up with him. And when I do, I'll kill him. Come with me. Be something if Wendy spots Reno as Romeo. He's been half crazy since last night. Please be careful. He don't have to be baby doll. He's with me. That is why I tell him to be careful. And now, friends and neighbors, I can't tell you what Wendy's Wonder Water will do for you, but I'll guarantee you it'll make giants out of midgets, men out of boys, and ravishing women out of lonely spinsters. Why, a friend of mine, he got on Windy's Wonder Water, and you know what? The spirit of adventure struck him. You know where he is now? Over in Turkey. Got himself a job with the Shelton of Ojibwo, and what's he doing? He's the counter in the Shelton's harem. <laughs> Set up a couple. There ain't nobody gets served until they hang their guns on the wall, house room. Now I'll show you some wonderful shooting. Lola, my dear. Before taking Wendy's Wonder Water, I couldn't shoot my way out of a Sunday school picnic. And now, are you ready, Rita? Getting too close. 
Wendy. You're sitting in this room laughing at me. But she swore he wasn't. She's lying. Get yourself a pair. Don't touch it. Boss. That's him, all right. You sure that's the one? That's a gun to kill my brother. Well, what do you say we go to work? You didn't get me, boys. The guns go on the wall or you go out the door. When I invented my one to drink, it made me so steady that my daddy used me for a sledge to drive in fence posts, eh? <laughs> It makes you steady as a boat. Sometimes I get so steady, they have to hitch up a team to roll me out of the saloon. We've seen about all the best spots. Well, the summit's just ahead there. We can see better from up there. Stay! It's Reno, all right. Well, it looks like it just happened. 
He must have seen her with it. I reckon he did. He knows we're on it now. You better get to town and tell the sheriff. I'll get Wendy. Right. Take it easy, Wendy. Did I love that little girl? She's gone, boy. Are you going to talk to him? He stole the wagons. Everything. I, I guess I can't blame him. Well, baby gal, what are you going to do now? I just hope Wendy gets that loss. I hope he cuts Tanner into little pieces. Tanner? Yeah, Kale Tanner. I covered Farina when she was alive, but not for the man that killed her. Kale Tanner's a checker. The biggest checker. Well, we'll just have to cut him down a couple of inches. Does he have a scar across his cheek? Then he is one of Longo's friends, an important friend. Come on. We'll pick up our important friend's tracks where we found Rena's body. Easy. Easy, man. Easy. I thought I'd find you here. Why didn't you wait for me at the graveyard? Wait for you. I don't know what's on your mind, but I'm going after Tanner. You see, I know his name now, and what he looks like. Lola told me. He's running. Maybe for a long way. I can handle a gun. You sure can, Tanner. You sure can. Where do the tracks begin, Willow? They begin here, and they move up there. Well, let's go. our little widow willow. You know something? I don't trust that girl. I'm with you, Wendy. We'd never gotten this far without her. Straight into Indian territory. We better hope and pray that she don't turn it over to those half a soup eye Indians. Maybe if Luke here treated her nicer. Treated her like any Indian squaw expected to cut that out. I'll feel better knowing what she's up to. Told me she'd never go back to her tribe. Said she was afraid of them. I hope you're right, for your sake, not mine. Because you've got a lot of living to do yet, son. You like your love making rough and rugged, don't you? What it is love.
don't you shoot each other and get it over with? Maybe some other time, Lucius. Don't you ever try that again. And the name's Luke. Don't threaten me, friend. If you want to die on account of an Indian camp follower, I might be able to accommodate you. Oh, now, forget it. Forget it, the both of you. I tell you what, the best thing for you is a slug of Wendy's Wonder Water. And it just so happens that I have it with me. Here you are, my friend. Take a slug. <laughs> ah, do you good, huh? Here's to you. Those tracks are about four hours old. There are a great number. As long as we're tracking army style, who takes the first point? Well, I stay see dark. Give me about ten minutes. Ten minutes. Come on. You know, he's crazy to ride off like that. They could get him behind the first rock. I guess he just doesn't much care. He rides toward the great canyons and the land of the Havasupai. Tell me this. Are your people still on the war path? I do not know. To my people, I'm a white woman. If I return, they will kill me. Hmm. you're thinking about. Do you want me to tell you? I don't know. Someday you will not have to ask me. Come on, he's had enough time. Thought you'd be ten minutes ahead. You want me to get lost in those canyons up ahead? All right, I'll make a try for it. When I get in there, I'll keep west at every turn. They don't know where I'm going. If I ever saw a perfect spot for an ambush, that's it. Ambush? You think those tin horn gunfighters are worried about us? They'd sooner dry gulch a coyote. We better wait here. You wait. I'm going sightseeing.
water, son. I'll give you a slug of Wendy's Wonder Water. And that'll really fetch you out of it. That's a man. I guess those checkers knew they had a real gunfighter after them. Come on, quiet down. That's my best shirt. All right, so all you want. Now, let's see where you're hurt. I'm near bad enough to dead my cousin this say Willow. Half through between the ribs. It was less than he asked. Tear off that shirt. You're the most reckless man I've ever met. <laughs> and I've met them all. Makes the time go faster. What you heard. Time means nothing. Every second I get of it is nothing but gravy. <laughs> How do you figure that? I've been dead near a year already. Well, I always figured there was something wrong with you. But I didn't know it was that bad. What do you need, Stace? Well, a bunch of unfriendly people shot me up one night. I was all but dead, Mr. Randall. Real dead. Ultra me. Nobody ever born could ever come out of that any way but dead. Some old horse doctor poured tar all over me, stopped the bleeding. Later I found out that should have killed me too. Tell you something, Luke. I'm a gambler. Those people poured all that lead into me. I had to figure myself as a lo loser. That tar just made it a missed deal. Sam Reckless. All right. When the corpse can move around, he's got the game licked. I got him all licked. to worry about anything till morning. Cold. Gets that way up here. I know. Yeah, I guess you should. Do you still fear that I will betray you to the Havasupai? How do you know I felt that way? I can see such things. You know, you're an odd little Indian. I see the Cherokees and the Creeks hanging around the villages. Never a Havasupai. I am no longer a Havasupai. Huh? I am empty. A woman without roots. I'm in more danger in the Havasupai territory than you are. You want to tell me what happened, Willow? I was a rebel. I was the medicine man's daughter who read the books of the white man and tried to tell her people that there was knowledge in the ways of our white brothers. But, but you ran away. I was brought before the chief. He wanted me to swear on my father's life that I would forget my madness. I refused, and I was banished. I did not come to ask you to feel sorry for me. Whatever I may have done, I am paying for it. Longo, everything. What's the trouble? When we start paying, it's too late. Yes. Like with Rina. If my people see me, they will not let me live. That is why I must tell you what I think. I was sure I had seen Stace before, when I was with Longo. Now I think I know. He was one of the Checkers gang. Do you know what you're saying, girl? He's out gunning for them. He has their wildness. He's like a man who is doomed to the death and rushes to meet it. 
Are you sure about this? I cannot prove it. And he will deny it. That is why I have said nothing. What do you want me to do, Willow? Watch out for him. I will. Like he was my own flesh and blood. How's it feel? Uh, stings a little, that's all. After only a couple of days, you heal pretty fast, even for a dead man. Ever see one that was sick? I... Oh, oh. <laughs> well, it was all right. Still the fastest draw in the world? Always. For a dollar? <laughs> Looks like you're still sick. I guess so. You better see how good I really feel. How are you feeling? Fine, Pappy. Checkers go. Nice work, Luke. All right. Once you pass the first killing, the rest are easy. Well, are they gone? Looks like it. I told you they were yellow bellies. Five territory? Yes, into the desert. All right, boys, let's go.
Punch out horses. Indians. So now they're watching us too, huh? They have been. Yours took a big turn at Rena's grave, eh, Wendy? Yes, it did. You know, being a father is quite a job, Steve. And by the way, you never told me about your father. What kind of a man was he? Forget about him. He's nothing but a crazy killer. Yeah? Is that why you're a crazy outlaw? What makes you think me an outlaw? Well, what, what else are you? What else can you do? Good question. It's all in the upbringing. Now you take, for instance, Luke's father. He taught him how to go things and how to respect life. And Willow's father, he tried to teach her it was wrong to leave her own kind. And as for me, I taught Rena to sit in a hole, run off and get herself killed. Maybe so. Maybe so. I've been thinking about that for a long time. But the mistakes the parent makes is reflected in the child. And my mistake led to death. Sorry, Wendy. Ah, oh, forget it, forget it. And what did your father teach you? How to ride a horse? How to beat up women? And how to kill men? I once asked you the rest of your name. You wouldn't tell me. Why? Because it is a name that makes white men laugh. What is it? I won't laugh. Wild Willow. Why, that's a right pretty name. It fits you. Am I wild? <laughs> well, I can see where you could be. You sure not that checker easy enough. I don't think I'd care to fool around the way Stace did. Days. He has a small spot of goodness in him. It grows smaller each day. Soon it will be gone, and he will be like an animal. Ah, oh, Stace is all right. If you want to be like him, you will think that. My people say, the man who barks like a dog will one day grow a tail. <laughs> well, I may bark like Stace, but I don't bear my fangs as often. Besides, I don't think I'd care to get next to that knife of yours. You would not have to be afraid. Stace and I made a promise. Stace broke his promise. Do you still feel that you are bound by yours? I made another promise to myself. What promise is that? To keep just one thing in mind. To find Matt's gun and the man who killed him. Everything else has to wait. So you will wander and I will wander. It is better when there are two. Two to share the pain, but not the loneliness. I'll forget about me, Willow. I got a long, long way to go, and I have to go alone. should stick to his business. Over there in those high rocks. All right, let's get you. I'm game. It will end sooner if you let me have a gun. Somebody has to stay here and take care of the horses. He's my shot. For a dollar? Let's get to it. Come on.
That's me. Where's Stace? He's <laughs> over there. Sounds like he's having an awful good time. Let's get back. <laughs> How many of them do you think there are? No telling, Luke. Do you think you will defeat them? Not a chance, Willow. Why don't you take that way out to your people? There, my people. Engine scout. They're up to something. They will wait until the fight is over, and then they will attack the winner. Well, I guess those checkers are in for a whale of an Indian fight. Heads up. We've got to close in on them. That's our only chance. a handful of them out there. You're sure taking care of Tanner's hide, isn't he? Why not? There's always been a Tanner in charge. Okay, Malinga. <laughs> What's that tune you're always playing, Wendy? Well, I don't really recollect it, Stace. But Rita and my wife, they always like it. You know, it's a funny thing. I was dreaming about my wife last night.
never held you up. He might have got away. He didn't. talking about, stay. You just now killed my father. Kill Tanner? I came all this way to do the same thing. All this way. One day, I took the checker gang away from him. One night, he shot me down and Yes, we're even now. Even? All square. You killed my father, and I killed your brother. What did you say? I said I killed your brother. I shot him dead. Dead with his own gun. You're lying. After I escaped from prison, I saw him going into the barn. Then I shot him. Now, how about it, Lucius? The border roll? it that way? For a dollar. Wandered far across the land and far from the willow tree. At last, my brother sleeps in peace beside the tree that weeps no more for me. <laughs> 